so we're going to talk about arcs and angles. Now an arc, we'll say is AB, like this. So AB is the arc of the circle right here. There's a couple different ways that we can say that this arc was created. It could be created by the central angle angle ACB or by the chord AB. And so this is the intercepted arc. Now since the measure of the arc AB is less than 180 degrees. If it was 180 degrees, it'd go all the way across half the circle. It is called a minor arc. And we only use two letters for the minor arc. The major arc is going to be A, D, B, because that's going to tell us which direction it goes. A, D, B. And the measure of arc A, D, B is greater than 180 degrees. So we're going to be able to get that from here. Now, another thing that you need to know before we move on the relationship between the angles and the arcs. Now if you have a minor arc like this, the measure of angle ACB is equal to the measure of arc ACB. And that's going to be in degrees. So those two are equal. The next one, inscribed angles. If we have an inscribed angle, the vertex of the angle is on a circle. It's that ABC. So angle ABC is an inscribed angle, its intercepted arc is going to be AC. Now, the relationship between the inscribed angle and the arc is 2 times the angle measure is equal to the arc. So the angle is half of what the arc actually is. So 2 times the measure of angle AC, ABC is equal to the measure of arc AC. And that's different than what we found up here, that the arc and the angle are the same when the angle is a central angle like this. Alright, some other angles and arcs inside of a circle. If I take this and I have two chords that intersect inside the circle. The measure of angle 1 is going to be equal to, I'm going to take the measure of arc AB plus the measure of arc CD, divide that by 2. Or you could think of this as a different way. 2 times the angle is equal to arc 1 plus arc 2. That just multiply both sides by 2. It's going to be this arc right here plus this arc right there. Now, if I have
if I have a tangent, this guy's a tangent. And here's a secant. The relationship between the angle and the arc, two times the measure of angle, ABC, is equal to the measure of the arc. We're going to treat this like an inscribed angle. It just happens that one of the parts is a tangent. So this is going to be equal to the measure of arc AB from there. All right, now if you have an angle that's outside, we're still going to use two times the angle is equal to a relationship between the arcs, but in this case, when we're outside, we're going to subtract the arcs. So it's going to be the far arc minus the close arc. So it would be two times the measure of angle AC or AEB is equal to the far arc and there's the close measure of AB plus the measure of CD Some other big ideas that you're going to want to deal with. Now, angle C here, the endpoints of the two chords that make angle C are the endpoints of a diameter. So if an inscribed angle contains the endpoints of a diameter, then the measure of the angle is equal to 90 degrees because the diameter cuts half of the circle. This is a is a semicircle, it's half a circle, it's 180 degrees. So the inscribed angle X has to be equal to 90 Now, if we have a quadrilateral, A, B, C, D, that's inscribed into a circle, measure of angle A plus the measure of angle C is equal to 180. Measure of angle B plus the measure of angle D is equal to 180. So opposite, we'll say the sum of opposite angles in an inscribed quadrilateral is 180 degrees.